Jeffrey says that he just can't sleep early. I've tried, but it doesn't work. I tried going to sleep early, but I couldn't sleep and I need to fat first. And sometimes I want to play League of Legends first, but I go to sleep early. It's only 4 a.m. Jeffrey is like most modern men who don't realize how consequential bad sleep is to their lives. He doesn't realize that sleeping less than six hours a night makes his testicles smaller. Do you want small balls, bro? That's what happens if you sleep less than six hours. Have some respect for yourself, little marble balls. <laughs> I think my ego blinded me for a long time. I always thought that I was a good sleeper because I'd go to sleep relatively early. I'd wake up early and I would go to sleep pretty fast when I try, you know, 10, 20 minutes and I'm already out. I didn't realize how bad my sleep was up until I got a sleep tracker. I started tracking my sleep. I saw the real data of my sleep and I realized that I wake up a lot during the night. It's kind of terrifying when you see the real data of how bad you're sleeping. It really kicks you into motion. For the last few months, I vigorously altered a lot of things to try and improve my sleep. Some of them worked, some of them didn't. There was a random random change that I made that significantly helped me and it's all about the way that we breathe. Since improving my sleep I've literally seen myself gain muscle faster and I swear to god I've went down like 2% in body fat within just a couple of weeks while still eating at the same calories. Adonis. Can you flex your chest yet bro? Hello and welcome to my TED <laughs> Adonis knows that he has to be well rested to conquer the day and so he prioritizes sleep He rests like it's his full-time job He gives himself more than eight hours a night The tribe needs him to be well rested and rejuvenated Adonis awakes at the sunrise ready to start the day Here's a bunch of things you should try first before we get into anything more advanced The most important thing with improving your sleep is routine You should be trying to go to sleep and waking up at the same time every single day The second best thing you can do is allocate more time to bed Everyone wants eight hours of sleep and so they give themselves eight hours in bed. That's not how it works. If you want eight hours of sleep, you need to be leaving about 10 hours for bed. I leave about 11 hours for bed now. I'm being serious. Now I have the time because my job is like being a YouTuber, <laughs> but I leave 11 hours for bed so that I can sleep long enough. Most people just simply don't sleep long enough just because they aren't giving themselves enough time in bed. This is the easiest way to get extra sleep. Give yourself more time in bed. Go to sleep a little bit earlier, wake up later. I'm going to make a big announcement that no one else is telling you right now. Waking up early is not not productive. Waking up early is a myth of the last decade. The 5 a.m. entrepreneur, they've got small testicles. They've got reduced testosterone rates and they're not making much muscle. Waking up early is not productive. Going to sleep early is productive. Waking up late is productive. Going to sleep late makes you a crackhead. Go to sleep early, wake up late. Also make sure that your brain isn't getting heavily stimulated just before bedtime. The best thing you can do before bed is reading a book, but make sure the book or whatever you're thinking about doesn't excite you. There's been times that I visualize something exciting like a social event that's coming up, or I remember a memory that was really, really exciting and I can't sleep for hours later. Social media, especially in the last few hours of the day, really does this to you. This is why the most conventional advice is to like switch off the screens and start unwinding a few hours before. Now I tried those three things along with a bunch of the random advice that you've heard and it didn't really make that much of a difference for me. Still, night to night to night, I was looking at the data from this ring. I was waking up more than 50 times during the night constantly and I would be quite aware of this during the night. I'd just be quite breathless and my throat would be so fucking dry. What changed it all for me and what may change it for you is that if you are a natural mouth breather, you have to start breathing from your nose throughout the day. It's like practice. You must be breathing from your nose. If you're a mouth breather, it's one of the worst things you can do for your health. And it's so insane how many like doctors and everything don't talk about it. You have to start practicing breathing from your nose. It's difficult because you're breathing from your mouth for a reason because your nose is usually blocked. The way to improve your nasal breathing so that you can do it more easily is with the perfect breath. And that is roughly a normal inhale, but a very very, very extended exhale. There we go. Breathe all the air out. You shouldn't be like, you know, panicking or anything, but you want to really, really extend the exhale. The more that you do this throughout the day, the better that you'll breathe during nighttime. And one of the very, very important things, I actually think this is like a very fun way to tell if this is working, is to tape your mouth at nighttime. This sounds really insane and it sounds really scary. This is like a safe tape that you can put on your skin. It's called micro pore tape. You go to sleep with this tape on, you're not going to suffocate or anything like, if you absolutely need to breathe from your mouth, your mouth will automatically open up because it's just a light piece of tape.
But even though it looks kind of flimsy, you'll automatically breathe from your nose. The issue is when you first start this, you'll be able to breathe from your nose for literally just minutes and then you'll get pissed off and you'll rip it off. I've personally found that when the same piece of tape stays on your mouth during the entire night, that's when your sleep has been incredibly improved. I'd say my sleep is better by about 30 to 40%, which is actually like huge by the way. You can get this tape on eBay and Amazon and the idea is that just throughout your day you just keep doing those long exhales. You breathe like our ancestors used to, slow and steady, long exhale, inhale, long exhale. Never breathe in from your mouth unless you absolutely have to. And for reference it took me about a month and a half to go from having the tape on but ripping it off to actually having it on all night. And when you wake up with the same piece of tape you'll literally think wow like I actually feel so rested. Like my throat isn't feeling like weirdly dry like it usually is. I actually feel rested. I definitely didn't wake up as much as I did previously. Oh there is one more weird thing that I did as well. If you ever find yourself needing a piss during the night sometimes I would literally wake up like two times just needing a piss. P it used to piss me off bro. It's literally I promise you, okay, you know, everyone's gonna say, oh yeah, make sure you don't drink much water or whatever. It's not even that. You have to do Kegels, Kegels, whatever the fuck that word is, right? Just Google it online. Do the Kegel exercise. It's kind of like, imagine you're pissing and then you stop the piss with that muscle. You train that muscle, just go and watch a guide online. And I promise you, you'll wake up less needing a piss in the night because it's like the muscle that controls how well you can hold in the piss has now been strengthened. That actually helped me quite significantly as well. I completely forgot to write it down for this script. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.